I remember uh, one time when we first moved, right when we first got to town, we were staying with Willie and Jay Naz from Reckless Kelly, and like we were, our whole band was crashing throughout their house. Like one guy was in the office, and whoever got in last, you know, pretty much got the floor if you didn't get the couch. But we'd go out and we'd party all night, and then we'd come back, and our drummer at the time, Travis, was from Idaho too, and he was a friend from high school, and we always picked on him in high school, and he always, you know, picked on us if he stayed up late enough. But. When we first got to town, he had a tendency to go to be the first one to knock off for the night. So we used to always pick on him because he'd pass out early, you know, and then we'd come back from the bars and we'd draw on his face or whatever whenever he fell asleep. So one night he rigged up a string, tied it around his wrist. Trav wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. So uh, he uh, ties his string around his wrist and then ties it to the doorknob and goes to bed. So he's, um, he's sleeping, you know, and so we wake up and we don't wake up, but we're still awake. We come in, it's like six in the morning, and we open up the door and, and we see the string going to trap because the door swung inside, so it never yanked on his wrist, you know? So we open up the door and Trav doesn't wake up, of course, so we just drew a bunch of stuff on his face and called it a night. <laughs> nice things, of course.